What is up you guys? So I don't need anybody to tell me. I know I look a hot fried mess. Um, my hair was straightened. I did a little blowout flat iron situation. So it's been like this for about two weeks and I wanted to get into my wash and go routine and show you guys how I revert my curls back from having my hair straight for obviously way too freaking long. Look at my roots. They're screaming, hollering, throwing up, fussing. First thing we're gonna do is go in with a clarifying shampoo. I like to use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. Gets my head all tingly and feeling good. And I also use their conditioner. Um, sometime I will do a deep condition, but not today, cause your girl is in a rush. Um, so now all I'm doing is just working in that um, shampoo, getting it nice and into my scalp. You see my hair shedding, help, I need some vitamins bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and get about two handfuls of the conditioner and I just slather that all over my head, you guys, all over my head. Okay, boom, freshly washed. So now I'm going to finger detangle when I get out. A lot of times I'll detangle inside the shower, but I was in a rush today. So I just did it outside with my fingers on damp hair. Next thing I'm gonna do is go in with this leave-in from Garnier Fructis. This was the only leave-in I had in the bathroom downstairs, so this is what I ended up using. Always use a leave-in to detangle, you guys. Next thing we're gonna do is section off the hair, go ahead and detangle it, and before you ask, the brush will be available for sale very, very soon. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? Okay, yeah, entendiste, good. So now I'm going to continue uh, going through the hair, straightening it out, detangling it with the brush. Look at those curls. Look how juicy they look after the detangle, you guys. The last section that I like to get to is the front of my head. I start in the back because ugh, it's it hurts and it's the worst section to detangle and I hate doing the back. I'll just be transparent. Um, but once I get to the front, it's usually pretty much easy sailing. I work my fingers through it after I brush it out just to make sure I didn't miss any kinks or any spots that uh, the brush couldn't catch because they might have been too tiny of a tangle or too tiny of a knot for the brush to catch. Um, so then I like to go back through my hair once again and just make sure it's completely smoothed out in every area. So I'll go back to the back, then I'll whip it back around to the front. And remember, this is just with the conditioner. Pay close attention to the next step. Now I'm gonna go in with this Curly Magic from Uncle Funky's Daughter. You're gonna wanna use a curl um, stimulator or something to define your curls when you're doing your wash and go if you don't want super frizzy hair, you guys. So I get that product and I just work it through my hair completely. Um, and then I work it through with my fingers from root to tip and then I go the opposite way from tip to root and I do it again. Make sure I get the nape of my neck all inside of my scalp, my edges, all that good stuff. And I just kind of check for areas where the curl pattern may not look as defined as the others. Um, the back of my head tends to be pretty thick, so I go through that a few times before diffusing. Now, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna just diffuse like our life depends on it. So you're gonna spend at least a cool, if you have thick hair, you're gonna be diffusing for a cool 10 minutes, nonstop, just diffusing, diffusing. Now, I know some people will probably ask, oh, why are you diffusing all the way up to your root versus just holding the diffuser at the level of your ends? Well, for me personally, I like a lot of volume in my hair. So if you like a lot of volume in your hair, definitely go ahead and diffuse it. Taking the tip of your hair, and putting it, uh, put, putting the diffuser towards the tip of your hair and then carrying it all the way up to your scalp. You wanna do that for, I mean, at least 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and you'll start to actually see the volume. The more you do it, you'll actually see the volume coming into to place that you want. Um, depending on how much volume you want, that's how many times you need to continue this process. Um, if you don't want it as thick or as fluffy towards the top of your hair, 
then you can stop doing your diffusing um, with bunching up all of the hair together like that and you can just keep the diffuser at a root tip level of your hair versus taking it all the way up to the tip like you see me doing here not the tip child the root the root of your hair I don't know why I'm just inclined to keep saying the tip I don't know what I'm thinking about maybe a pencil who knows but yeah so you're just gonna keep doing this and you want to take checks periodically in the mirror and make sure that you're diffusing each section evenly because if you're not doing it evenly you'll probably have to go back through and it will look crazy you guys it'll be super uneven so yeah boom that's the routine as you can see I'm feeling a lot better about how my hair is looking we are done and I inserted a few pictures for you guys these are my results based on the products I use so this is just with conditioner you see it's a lot fluffier and I also inserted a picture of a braid out that I did with just conditioner right here look at your girl ow 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 yeah with the braid out we're giving versatile with the styles but that's pretty much it for this video you guys I just really wanted to share thank you for watching like subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one bye